Good morning friends. Today I would like to talk about a topic like someone asked me that is there any way that I can calm down my mind because most of the time thoughts are coming into my mind and they are not able to make me stay cool and calm. Every time I feel anxious, I am panicking. So is there any way that I can feel comfortable with myself i have to distract myself but it is not working so that person asked me this question that if i have something to say about these things in that in this matter i want to say one thing that why why do you think that your mind is not calm what's happening with your mind have you ever observed your mind and thoughts if you will observe then you will find that you are thinking about your past or you are busy in your future someone said something to you in the past time someone may be insulted you and you were not able to answer that person in that moment but you felt very much insulted and now you keep on thinking and keep on asking him in your imagination that why you insulted me i did not do anything with you then why you did this to me this is not fair maybe these kind of questions are maybe related with your future because you think that your financial position is not strong or you have chosen some career which is full of unpredictabilities means confusions doubts and you are not sure that whether you will be successful in that career that you have chosen and you don't see any kind of support from anyone and you don't feel confident enough to make a success in the future but other than that you don't even know that what you should do in your life you don't know anything else so this is why you are confused most of the time this is why you are thinking that whether this is going to work or is it sufficient like lots of questions and you don't have answer of those questions so you keep on repeating these questions in your mind and this is why you are not able to sleep and when your sleep cycle is disturbed you are not able to take sleep and if you are not able to sleep properly then your mind your conscious mind will stay tired and when your conscious mind will stay tired you will not be able to think clearly then mental fog mental fog means that situation where you are not able to take decisions in your life when you feel so tired to make a simple decision then what will you do then you will delay those decisions you will not be able to take or make those decisions and you will keep on delaying and that delaying will make situations very complicated so what is the best way what can you do to avoid this kind of situation so first of all you have to think practically like what are you doing and why it is not so good like it's my experience that when i say to people like you are really very sensitive when i say this statement or this thing to people that you are very sensitive they feel like it's a proud thing for them they take it as a compliment that yes i am very sensitive this is what they say but you don't have to be very sensitive you have to become strong when you look into your past you don't have to stay in your past because you have to move on with life you don't have to live in your past because if you will live in your past then you cannot live in your future or in the present moment 
what you need to do is that you have to understand that your past is gone and you cannot do anything except learning from your mistakes once you will learn from that mistake then you make sure then you you have made sure that you are not going to repeat this mistake and you have evolved yourself from an immature person to mature person i'm not saying that just one mistake will make you a completely mature person no but yes this is a tiny step towards the maturity small steps towards maturity so whatever happened forgive forgiveness is the most important thing that you have to learn in your life that you have to forgive people before or without them asking for sorry for forgiveness means if someone did something to you don't think that i will take revenge this revenge will be very costly to you more than that person because you have to make yourself feel uncomfortable to take revenge if you will forgive that person and learn from that experience then you will see that your personality has evolved so forgiveness without even asking if someone is not even saying sorry and you can forgive that person then trust me you have become a very mature person this is the way that you can learn from your mistakes and you can become experienced and you can move on in your life and you can become very strong person emotionally because if you will become financially financially very strong person it will make no sense because financial independence is nothing to do with that has nothing to do with your emotional stability emotional independence and the real happiness lies in the emotions if you think that you will become rich and you will be happy then you are wrong no but if you will become emotionally strong then you will become the real happy person and same thing about future don't think about future a lot think about it wisely think about it that what you need to do if this situation will come then what you have to do do you have some plans if things won't work the way you have planned you should have those kind of plans ready in that situation if if plan a will not work then there is a plan 2 if plan 1 doesn't work then plan 2 can work so things like this but you don't have to stay lost in future or in past you have to think wisely and you have to practice also that not talking a lot in your mind because this talking is also a habit so you have to work on this habit and what you can do just focus on your breathing whenever you think that you are getting carried away by these emotions of the past or future just calm down and start focusing on your breath start doing breathing exercise whenever you feel the attack of thoughts and emotions just focus on your breathing breath exercise and you will see the difference over the period of time you will become strong enough to control your thoughts and emotions because emotions have direct relation with the breath if you have observed that if you are feeling scared or angry then your breath is short you cannot breathe deeply while in anger or being scared so and breathing exercise is the best way to can take control of the emotions and distract detach from those unwanted emotions and thoughts and with practice it will become a habit and you will have control that on what thought or emotion you want to focus 
or you don't want to focus it will take time but it is worth worth learning this exercise worth experiencing because you will have little bit more control over your mind and emotions and it will be a magical thing for you yes this is the magical thing and it will not come overnight it will come with practice patience in starting you may realize you may feel that it's not working calm down it's okay take it easy calm down it will work it takes time it will work this is what you need to remind yourself and you will see the magic thank you